Hey. Hello! <laughs> I'm going to be showing you how to be making a pinch pot rattle today. The final product is going to be up to you. I'm going to do the basic rattle part and then you'll be turning it into a fish or a dog or whatever makes you happy to make your rattle into. You're going to start out with a piece of clay that's around the size of a baseball. Um, you're going to be holding it in the curved palm of your hand and hitting it with your other curved hand because however you're touching the clay, it's going to react in that way. So if you're flattening it on the table, it's going to make it flat. If you're rolling it on the table, it's going to make it more of a diamond shape and not make it round like you think it would. Okay, so you're going to hold it in the curved palm of your hand and hit it with the other hand. Use your strength. You're stronger than you think you are. Squeeze it. Okay, something like this. It doesn't, you don't have to get rid of all of these because you're going to pinch the pinch pot anyway and it's not going to get messed up. Then you're going to take the, co the wire tool. This is the wire tool. It just has wooden ends with the wire in between. And you're going to hold it like this and pull through, which cuts it in half. Uh, you're going to put down one half while you're doing the other pinch pot half. And you're going to depress your thumb in the middle like a hat for your thumb. And you're going to pinch it and turn, pinch and turn, pinch and turn. You are letting go each time you pinch and turn. You're not twisting it because it's going to rip the clay. Pinch and turn evenly all the way around with an even amount of pressure. So it has an even thickness of walls. The walls are the sides here. This is the lip. The bottom, called the floor, also needs to be pinched. So when you're finished, this is what it should look like, something like this. Then you're going to do the other half. You're pinching evenly as you turn it. And if you get cracks like that, that's okay. You can fix that later. See? Fixed. The next thing you're going to do is decide how big you want your marbles to be on the inside. If you want it to have more of a high pitch, you're going to make it about the size of the end of your pinky. If you want a lower pitch, it's about the size of the end of your thumb or your forefinger. You're going to make a round ball. You're never going to see them again. They do not need to be perfect. I'm just going to make three. I wouldn't make, you have to have at least one, of course, so that it rattles. Um, and you, I wouldn't make more than six because otherwise it'll take up too much space inside your rattle and not have enough room to move around depending on the size of your marbles. Then wet clay sticks to wet clay so we can't just stick it in there like that because it'll stick. So and then it won't rattle and you can't have an A if it doesn't rattle. So you're going to take the marble, you're going to wrap it in a paper towel like this individually and put it off to the side. Just take another piece of paper towel Nothing fancy, just wrap it up so that when it's sitting on the tabletop or in your palm, it doesn't have any clay showing so that it does not stick to this. Get a bigger piece there. Okay, once you have all of your marbles wrapped, like this, uh, you're going to take your scoring device. Scoring is X marks or lines on the clay that act like teeth to help hold the clay together when you are constructing everything. So you're going to use your fork or a pencil works fine also. And you're going to just score up the edges of the lips of your pot. You're never going to see this again so it can be quick and dirty. It does not have to be pretty at all. Okay, so you do both lips like this. You put the rattles into the, the pinch pots because if you don't, obviously it's not going to rattle. Then you're going to take some water. The, we don't use slip in this class, we use water and it will mix with the clay as we're doing it. So we're going to tap the water on like this. As we and we don't slide it on because that will get rid of the lines that we just made. So you're going to tap the water on like this. As you're tapping it on, it starts to mix with the clay a little bit and kind of makes a little bit of a slip for you. Slip is water mixed with clay to make a glue-like substance to uh, help your clay stick together. Once you have the slip on there, then you're going to line up your two lips together, like kind of like it was a mouth. And if they don't fit, that's okay. You're just going to spread it out a little bit. And wiggle it so that you can make sure this is well compressed, the lips are well compressed together. Now, this doesn't look very nice, so you want to smooth out 
your connection with the water that's on there. If you need extra water, just dip your finger in the water. This should not be slippery and slimy. That's too much water. And then you can make it rounder or whatever shape it is that you want to make it into. Um, and at this point you'd be adding things to it. So let's say you wanted to make this into a rabbit. You could change the shape of the front of the face. And I'm just using the palm of my hand like this and using my palm to squeeze it. Not my fingers because the fingers will indent the clay. Like this. And kind of deciding where my nose wants to go. I'm going to put the eyes here. I'm going to make my little rabbit nose. So I'm going to start out making a ball like this. I'm going to pinch it so that it looks like a little triangle for a rabbit. Give it a little bit of a squish. Score it. You see those score marks on there? And then I'm going to score where I'm going to attach it. I'm going to tap my water on, tap my water on. I'm going to put the nose on. And give it a little wiggle so that all the air bubbles get out. Because don't forget, if you trap air in something, it's going to blow up in the kiln. The air is not combustible, it's the pressure that makes it explode. We've talked about this. So um, if you cannot remember this or you don't understand that, please make sure you ask. Um, then I'm going to mark where my eyes are going to go and smooth out any bumps around the area. I'm going to make a little ball, throw it down and make it a little bit flat. Score this and score this. Slip, 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 slip. And attach the, the eyeball on that way. And I would continue with the rest of the rabbit, putting the ears on and different things like that. When you're all finished, please make sure you bring this to me. You'll, we'll, I will poke the hole with a pin tool or a paper clip and so that it does not explode in the kiln. And you'll put your name on it and put it on the cart.